You may think the world is in shambles right now, but as soon as you watch Extreme Cheapskates or this video, you'll know things can absolutely get crazier. The people featured on Extreme Cheapskates go to extreme lengths just to save money. I always wonder if it's all worth it just to save a quarter. I don't know what goes on in their heads, but obviously it makes sense to them. If you watch the show, you may have already seen these moments, but if you don't, stay tuned because you are in for a crazy ride. In today's video, we are going to show you some of the most mind-blowing scenes on Extreme Cheapskates, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Now let's get started. Kate. You'd be surprised how many cheapskates claim that they are total foodies without spending any money on food. Seems impossible, doesn't it? Well, it's definitely not as Kate shows us. She loves to dig through dumpsters and find food, which is really disgusting if I'm being honest, and I know I'd never do it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally fine with spending some money to get food that is not out of a dumpster. It must smell really horribly as well, going through all that trash. It just makes me sick just thinking about it. When I dumpster dive, I get the opportunity to eat really high-end gourmet foods that I would never pay for. Jeff. You have to admit, Jeff is quite the hilarious cheapskate. He's probably one of my favorites, but it still doesn't mean that he can get away with all the stuff that he does. At one point, he tricks his guests into drinking recanted wine. He gets a funnel and an expensive old bottle of wine and fills it up from the cheapest box of wine that he can find in order to trick his guests into thinking they're drinking expensive wine when in reality they're not. I guess this isn't the worst thing Jeff could do, but come on man, don't lie to your guests like that. This is your trash? That's my trash. Holy smokes! You mind if I have a look? Vicky. Have you ever heard of a thing called rabies? Yeah, well apparently for a certain family, it doesn't exist. Vicky and her family eat roadkill that they find on the side of the road while driving. Not only is it disturbing to know they eat it, but it's also just really disgusting to see the images on our screens. I don't care what anybody says. There isn't enough seasoning in the world to make me eat roadkill. The family clearly doesn't care. How about some barbecue yes. rabbit there, Yoshi? There goes Easter. Roy Haynes. Roy Haynes, who is dubbed as the King of Cheap, has many quirks about him. But one of the most disturbing things that he does involves his wife and going to a movie theater. It's always nice to treat your second half to a nice date. But when it comes to Roy, he does everything for as cheap as he can. That's why when he goes on a date to the movies with his wife, he makes her eat candy from the garbage. Now personally, I don't agree with this. Roy tricks his wife into eating candy and snacks that he got out of the trash. We can literally see him going through bins to find treats to give her. This is just downright disgusting in more ways than one. Oh nice. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Aren't you lovely? Yes I am. Victoria. Millionaire Victoria doesn't flush the toilet because it costs too much for her. And although that in itself is just outrageous. There is one thing that she does in this episode of Extreme Cheapskates that is really disturbing. Don't let your eyes fool you, that is not a jar of lemonade or apple juice that she's holding up proudly for everyone to see. That is her urine. Pretty disgusting, isn't it? What makes it worse is Victoria then goes ahead and sniffs it, telling us that it's pungent as if we didn't already know. This is by far one of the grossest habits that this show has brought to light. Quite pungent. Terrence. I have to admit, Terrence is pretty cringy. He uses his time to make sure he's spending as little money as he possibly can. Well, to be honest, he spends virtually nothing. He won't even buy new furniture for his home, which is clearly in dire need of some. Terrence will not go out of his way to spend a single cent no matter what it's for, and he'll only take his family out to eat if they're willing to share food. That's all we have for today's video guys, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, we'll see you next time.